So let me first show you what we are going to create today. So, so this is what we are going to create today. It has got a color palette. So I have put some basic color. If you want to enhance it, you can put even more colors. And this is the uh, size, uh, or size of the brush, you know, uh, the size that will basically be used. So let me give you a demo of what we are talking about. If I, the default color selected is uh, black and the default size selected is this the smallest one. So we can use this mouse arrow to draw any shape that we want to. Okay. So something like this, we can pick the color. So uh, here I have picked red color. So red color reminds me of a rose. Let me, let me draw a rose here. Something like this. I'm not very good in drawing, especially when it comes to digital drawing. But I hope you guys will be able to um, just stick up with this one. And this is a rose pattern. And here it goes early. So something like this. You can pick, you know, the blue color and you can also create a beautiful flower using this blue color, a beautiful bud basically and with the beautiful stem and you can also give it some color like this or some shadings etc as you want to. And you can also pick other colors. You can also decide the thickness. So, you know, this yellow is going to be a little thicker this time because we have chosen a, a thicker size brush, even thicker, thickest. So like this, okay? So without wasting any time, let's get started to create a project in Game Lab. So I'm going to create a new project in Game Lab. So what do we need? What do we need? We need a color palette. So what I will do, I will start drawing the color palette. So for this, I will draw my own colors that are going to be uh, simple squares of that particular chosen color. So first comes red. Okay, and I will crop it. Red and crop it, it becomes red color. And uh, I will name, name it as red and we will make a copy of it and name it as red underscore select. And if you want this color to be selected, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick this white color, use this rectangle tool and give it a select field, something like this. Okay, so this is red, red select. Similarly, you create all other four sprites as well. Here, as you can see, I have created all the sprites, red, green, yellow, black and blue sprites and their selected sprites. Why do we need the selected sprite? Because if the color is selected, we want to give it a distinguished feel that it has been selected and the user knows it very well that this particular color is selected. So now let's get started to the coding. We are going to place our color palette somewhere here. We will start. So maybe I will pick the location as um, 2020 for the first sprite, which, will, which is going to be red. So, you know, command create a sprite. I'm going to put it at, at 2020, going to give it an animation. Uh, red, yes, it has to be red. And draw sprites. Okay, let's see if we need to scale it or something. But that looks actually perfect. This perfect. So similarly, you need to draw other color sprites as well, color palette sprite as well. Pause this video and create other color sprites. So here we have the color palette created in which I have taken these five colors, red, yellow, blue, green, and black. If you want to put more colors, you can put it. So it is up to you. You can enhance it as you want to. So we have this color. What next? Next we want, um, you know, whatever. Okay, let me do one thing. Black dot set animation. We will do black underscore select, you know, because this is what I want default to be selected. Yeah, so by default, the black color pen will be selected. 
And now what do I want? If we uh, select on any color and we press mouse, as the mouse is pressed and moved, there should draw a sketch or, you know, the lines should be drawn here. So for this, what we will do, we will uh, implement this event. What event if mouse pressed over a sprite? So say, for example, if mouse is pressed over a sprite red, okay, we will put the color as red. Before that, we will have to take a variable color. So here I will declare a variable color and initialize its value to black. Okay, and if mouse is pressed over red, my color will become red. And uh, what else? We will also set the animation of red to red select. So, okay, sorry, to red select. Yes. So my animation is also being set to red select. So let's see if it is working fine or not. Okay, that's the problem. Red did not be in double quotes. So that is why it is very important that we keep on testing our code. Yes. So now this is working perfectly fine. But what we will have to do, we will also have to set the animation of black to normal black. It means, you know, it is not the selected one now. So we will set it to black. Similarly, we should also set the animation of other to its default. So, you know, green will become green because green is not selected now. Blue will become blue and yellow will become yellow and red will be red selected. So let's reset and run if it is working fine or not. Yes, this seems to be working fine. And we need to the, do the same thing for all the color palette sprites. For all the sprites that we are going to put in our color palette. So this is being done for red. Now let me do it for yellow. Next one is yellow. So my color will become yellow here. And red dot animation will be red. Black, black. Yellow will become yellow underscore select which is working fine or not. Yes, I am able to select the colors. Now what next? When a color has been selected, we need to start drawing a line. So how to start drawing a line? To draw a line, we will use the ellipse command. And where we are going to draw ellipse? We are going to draw ellipse at the mouse x and mouse y position. So we will use wall.mousex and wall dot mouse y. Wall dot mouse x, mouse y, and size probably I will keep 10 for now for the testing purpose. And uh, we will also have to fill. So fill it with the color that is selected. So let's reset and run it. See if it is working or not. Yes, this seems to be working fine. This seems to be working absolutely fine. If I select yellow color, it becomes yellow. If I select blue, it is giving me blue ellipses. Green, yes, fine. Red, it's also fine. And black, yes, also fine. Yeah, so it is working absolutely fine. Only thing what I will have to do, I should actually put here no stroke. Okay, and I do not want this ellipse to be uh, drawn every time. I want these ellipses to be drawn only when mouse is pressed. Mouse down, we can use probably here this event. Yes, so if mouse is down, then only we want ellipse to be drawn here. So reset and run it if it is working fine or not. 
is now my mouse is down and i am drawing if my mouse is not down i am not able to draw i am able to pick the color as needed yes fantastic it is really good i am in love with this project okay so what next we also want to work on the brush size so for brush size what we will do we will again create some animations we will create animations that will indicate the brush brush size so that is also i am going to keep it you know very very simple just put a color and that color could probably be a little grayish color and we will create a dot of it that will indicate my size crop it and uh, let me name it as dot so that will become the size and we will actually put up some of the sprites with size 1 size 2 so my size 1 is going to be a create a sprite maybe at this position we can refine the position later but for now i am putting maybe 276 and 16 come up 15 is better dot let me see how big is it is coming or if oh it is very big so i will have to resize it size one dot scale is equals to probably 0 0.5 yes this is better size similarly i i am also going to create uh, three more sizes so we will have four sizes all together so size one size two size 3 and size 4. You need to be a little faster sometimes. But don't worry. Initially, you could take your time. You should actually take your time. I should change their positions as well. So 276, maybe let me add 20 to each of them. X coordinates, 296, 316. This becomes 316. Then after 316, it is 336. So let me see their positions. Uh, looks okay. So maybe this scale could be 0.3. This is 0.5. Okay. And then this could be 0.7. And this is 1. Okay. So we will have to shift uh, the dots a little bit. So this I am putting at maybe 306. Let me see if this is fine. No, I think that was fine. 296 was okay here. Here instead of 316, I will move it to 326 maybe. But this a little bit, you know, adjustment you will have to see. And this instead of 336, I will make move it to 356. Okay, so maybe 366. Okay, so these are my size of sprites and I can also move them a little down basically. So 20 will be better as X, X as Y position. Okay, let me see if it is good or not. Yes, this looks perfect now. So we have the color palette. We have the size. We are able to pick the colors and draw, but we are not able to pick the sizes. So what we will do, we will now again create an animation for dot selected. Same way as we have created for our palettes. So I'm going to make a copy of it. Uh, put it in select mode. So this is in my select mode now. Okay, and now we will start putting the code if dot is selected. And before that, we will take a size variable. So variable size is equals to, by default, I am going to put it as 10. Okay, and we will put the similar code. If size 1 is selected, size 2 is selected and all. If mouse pressed over size 1 then size is equals to size 1 is equals to size is equals to sorry yeah size 1 is equals to 10 uh, size is equals to 10 and 
size one dot uh, set animation is going to be this dot copy one. So let me see if it is working or not first. Yes, this is working for size one. Let me make a copy for other sizes as well. One, two, we have four sizes. So four copies. Uh, if size two is selected, then my size will become 15. And size two dot set animation will become this. And we will also have to set the animation of others to dot only. So those are basically once uh, we selected one size, other sizes becomes deselected. So we will have to give them a deselect animation as well. Here you can take a pause, do it yourself so that you get some better understanding of the code. And do not forget to share and subscribe if you are liking these tutorials, okay? If you are not liking, that's okay. Please uh, show me a thumbs down or unlike and share your experience and comments. That is also absolutely fine, but we want to hear some feedback. So here the size will become 20 probably and here my size will become 25. Let me copy this four, paste it here and then we will move on to test it. Yeah. Okay, time to test it. I have black, I have selected this, and yes, this is the size. Let me see if, oh, please, dot select. Okay, dot select is not the name of my sprite. It is dot copy one. So let me correct this. That is why it is very important to keep testing. What I will do, I will rename it here, dot select, because that this name makes more sense to me. Okay, reset and run it again. Let me select this size. Okay, this size. Okay, we are not, so the size is not increasing. Why my size is not increasing? Yes, my size is not increasing because here we are not setting the size. We are not changing the size here. This is always 10. So I will change it to size here. So this is how, you know, we need to debug our code. Why it is not working? Find out the places, what is where it is not working and fix it. So let me run it again. Yes, it should be now more thicker. Yes, and even more thicker. Yes, let me see if we are able to do it with other colors also. Yes, we are able to. Oh, that's perfect. This is great actually. Wow. So this seems to be working perfectly fine. I hope you are liking these tutorials. Do not forget to share and subscribe so that you keep on getting such interesting material on coding. See you soon. Bye-bye.